Well, I wasn't intending to come down today, but uh, because I thought we would be working with the uh, molds, getting them uh, um, sorted out and put on shelves. But uh, my friend who's allowing me to use his uh, space to store my uh, molds has a friend in from France and uh, I just don't want to take any time from him um, while that friend is here and uh, I let him know this morning that I'll wait till uh, I, we can wait till the friend goes back to France and uh, because I want them to have a good time together because they don't get to see each other very often so I'm going to uh, forego working on the molds for a couple months or not a couple months few days probably uh, I'm gonna play it by ear basically um, anyway I'm gonna work on the cow today or the longhorn today and so I'll be right back time to play with some clay I've tried to set up the camera the best I can, but my hand, in some cases, is going to get in the way. And there's not much I can do about it. Um, I've got uh, my anatomy pictures uh, for each side of the, the uh, steer, or the cow. And uh, I'm going to use that. And I've also got some anatomy um, CG, well, not CGI, um, Oh, what do they call it? Uh, <clears throat> paintbrush or whatever it is—a program you can do things on uh, the uh, computer. And uh, I'm going to use those too because they—they they seem to be pretty good. Um, I can't rely on them totally because it's still being made by somebody who's, uh, I guess, you know, they're—they're they're an artist. They have to be able to do that, but, uh, you know, they're limited on what the anatomy is just as much as I am. So all I can do is do the best I can do with the uh, material that I've got. I'm going to reposition my right camera at some point because it's a little close to the uh, figure and I just uh, feel like I get a better angle with it someplace else. Like I said last time, the uh, anatomy of a cow is similar to that of a horse, just different conformation because of the uh, oh, the cow's construction. But it's basically the same structure. Their hips are a little different.
Alright, I repositioned the camera on the right. My GoPro Hero 8 on the right. And uh, we'll see how that works out. I just realized I'm running out of clay. I'm going to have to go get another block of clay and get it to warming up overnight. So I'll go as far as I can with the clay I got. But then I'm going to have to probably stop and allow my clay to get soft so I can cut it up in usable pieces. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to get my anatomy for this side. I'll just put that one there. Oops. There. What I did was I printed it out on some photo paper. It's stiffer than normal paper. And then I folded it in half so that I've got it, a natural stand for my uh, anatomy close by. So I can view what I'm sculpting. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to call it quits for today. I just ran out of clay. And uh, I'll bring uh, um, over a block of clay and put it under my 100-watt bulb to start uh, softening the clay. And, uh, yeah. I might just put this underneath. Well... I don't think I'm going to do that yet. I was thinking about putting the, this clay together with the horse. But I think I'm going to wait for a bit to do that yet. Still got a lot to do. I'm seeing good symmetry in the shoulders. And uh, I might build out the uh, side of his rib cage a little bit more. But other than that, it's... Uh, Pretty well done. I've got, I mean, not done, but uh, it's its getting to the point where it's starting to look like some kind of anatomy going on here. I need to check the uh, the uh, organs of a uh, uh, bull and uh, it'd be easier to make it a, no, it wouldn't be easier to make it a cow, but anyway. 
Um, and I've got to build up his horns a little bit more too because they're just a little lacking in circumference. But I'll do that next time and uh, get my clay going. Good night, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.